once upon a time, there was a young boy who lived in a village. He was upset with the fact that he had some negative thoughts in his mind all the time. His mind is never calm. He either regrets thinking about his past, that I wish I had done this job like this, done that job like that. Or he is scared thinking about his future, that what will happen if this happens? What if I don't succeed? What if I make a mistake? Because of which people will start making fun of me. And many such negative thoughts, those thoughts full of failure, kept running in his mind all the time. He was always lost in thoughts and was scared from inside. Then someone told him that there is a Buddhist monk living under the jungle nearby. You go to him. He will definitely solve your mental problem. That boy goes to that Buddhist monk and tells him all his problems. The Buddhist monk listens to that boy carefully and says, so what do you want to know from me? The boy said, Monk, I want to empty my mind. I want to know from you how to empty and clean the mind. The monk said, Emptying and cleaning the mind is not a matter of one or two days. It is a very long process. So are you ready for it? The boy said, Yes, monk. I am ready to go through any big process. The Buddhist monk said, There are six ways to keep the mind empty and away from negative thoughts. Come, let's understand them one by one. The first way to keep the mind away from negative thoughts is to leave such people with you. Who will always make you feel weak, backward, aimless and uncivilized. Often there are some people around us who are maybe a little above in position and wealth. But they do not consider such people below them in their position and wealth. They always make the people below them feel how small they are. And they are not capable of achieving anything big in life. In addition to this, Sometimes there are some members of our friends and family who often make us feel small. They try to humiliate us. They make fun of us in front of people. So stay away from such people as much as possible. Because these are the people who will destroy your dignity in your eyes and make you aimless. You will start doubting your own ability. You will start having negative thoughts about yourself and the world. And these negative thoughts will lead you to mental stress and worry. Second, make very few and selected people your friends. Make such people your friends with whom you can learn something. With whom you can respect. Who understands your feelings. Whose thoughts are similar to yours who helps you to move forward in life. In our life and character, our friends have the most influence after our parents. That's why it is very important for friends to be right. It is also said that you are the medicine for those five people with whom you spend most of your time. If the five people around you with whom you spend most of your time are honest, then slowly you will also start being honest. If those five are rich, then you will also start becoming rich. In short, you become the one with whom you spend most of your time. A great philosopher has also said that you make me meet any person's friends. I will tell the future of that person by seeing his friends. Our biggest problem is that we are not able to say no to people. We are not able to say no to such people whom we do not want in our life. And then even though we do not want, we spend our time with these negative people. That's why we have to say no to those people first of all. 
for whom we feel that if they are not in our life, then maybe we will be happier. Dot Bhikshuk said, You can't change your past, but you can definitely change your present. Therefore, while living in the present, pay attention to the things and work that are in your control. Which you can do today. Which you can change today. Always remember one thing. Only by living in the present, the future can be settled. So get used to living in the present. Buddha Bhikshuk said. Fourth, eat healthy and nutritious food. Our body runs on energy. And the way we eat, the same energy our body will get. And similarly, our body and mind will behave in the same way. If you eat food that does not have any vitality in it, such as meat, then it has a negative effect on your mental state. Also, if the body is not healthy, then our mind cannot be happy. When the body is unhealthy and weak, then there are many negative and inferior thoughts in the mind. It is also said that only a healthy body has a healthy mind. Therefore, it is our responsibility to keep the body healthy and strong. Buddha Bhikshuk further said, Fifth, meditate alone every day. Meditate with no one. Always do it alone. The best time to meditate is in the morning or before going to bed at night. But if you want to go deep into meditation easily, then the time of the night is the best. Meditating before going to bed at night also improves sleep. And you get deep sleep. To meditate, you can focus on your breathing. Or you can focus on the thoughts that arise in your mind. Meditating on the thoughts that arise in the mind is more beneficial for the meditator. Because it can be easier to go into deep meditation. If you cannot meditate, then spend some time alone with yourself every day. Try to know your own behavior. Try to see what kind of thoughts are arising in the mind. When you meditate for a long time or spend time alone with yourself, then you gradually start knowing yourself. You become calm. Your impatience decreases. You speak less. You pay more attention to the things around you. You remain more calm and stable. This increases your attraction to nature. You look different in the crowd of thousands. And the biggest thing is that by meditating, the intensity of thoughts in your mind decreases. This reduces the negative thoughts in your mind. Buddha Bhikshuka said, Sixth and last, Go to new places. There is a very old saying that a long journey gives you more knowledge than a hundred books. You must have seen that Buddha Bhikshuka continues to travel continuously for nine months of the year. One reason behind his travel is also that by going to new places, the mind feels new, due to which the mind is always full of excitement and energy. Try to go to places full of the beauty of nature. When you go to travel, then pay full attention to everything around you. This will increase your habit of paying attention to things. Get used to losing yourself in the beauty of nature and its sound. Live in the present. Forget your past, mistakes in the past, and all worries. This is the way to empty the mind.